Jim Holly, Supercross Live on SupercrossOnline.com. I'm here with Brock Lever of uh, Dunlop, and I'm, I'm Brock. I'm kind of almost sad to wrap this thing up, man, because I wanted to keep going. I mean, that race tonight in the Supercross class was incredible. You know, I, I've been coming to Supercross, you know, you and you too. It's just, that was amazing. That was one of the best races I've ever seen, possibly the best race I've ever seen. It's like the Ollie Frazier fight. It was the heavyweights of our sport battling it out for 20 laps, and it went down literally to the final feet. Something that I noticed uh, that in doing some interviews with the, a lot of the guys is lapped riders were uh, presenting a little bit of a problem for the yeah. guys. You know, no doubt. I mean, you get down to the Georgia clay here, and it's a little bit slippery in a couple of corners, so the track didn't present itself to where the faster guys could really get away. But that made for great racing. And then when they did get up to the lapped riders, it was a little harder for them to get around. And unfortunately, there was a couple of lapped riders at the end that, uh, I guess, fortunately, unfortunately, and fortunately, because at the, you know, when it kind of lost Chad a couple seconds there, it looked like Chad could maybe hang on to the win. It made it just all ball up at the end, gave Stewart the chance to get it run it up in there. And then obviously we know what happened after that, after they collided, Dungey and Villapoto, with Villapoto squeaking by for the win and Dungey could be able to grab second. So it was, it was an amazing race. Yeah, and you mentioned that second and third uh, Reed finally uh, you know ends up getting third but the, the spoiler I mean James Stewart on that last lap was leading this thing and he finishes up fourth I mean he didn't yeah. even go up on stage and collect the $1,500 from uh, Nuclear Cowboys for getting the whole shot. I mean, I'm sure he yeah. was disgusted on the way that outcome came. Uh, I mean, absolutely, you have to, you know, you have to feel for him. I mean, he's, he's an ex unbelievably skilled rider, could easily win any race anytime, and to have it come down to, from four, or first to fourth on the last lap, you know, that doesn't happen to James unless he falls down, and that wasn't really a situation. And so, I, 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 it was, but in the end, I think the fans got their money's worth. The lights race was incredible. The 450 race was incredible, and we, we all are leaving here tonight wanting more, and that's what you need. Yeah, and you mentioned that uh, lights race. Another guy that you got a feel for, uh, Blake Wharton. I mean, he gets the whole shot. He has to come through the last chance race. He gets the whole shot, collects $1,000 from Mule Fear Cowboy. The only time I remember is in Seattle one time I got the whole shot from that far outside. I don't know how he did it, but yeah. he was leading this thing, and then he throws it away. And uh, Dean Wilson worked up. He didn't have a good start. I mean, yeah. he came from fifth to win this thing. You know, that's one thing. I mean, Dean had didn't have great starts in the heat race either, so maybe it gave him a little opportunity to practice uh, practice passing where other guys maybe didn't. And, yeah, again, Wharton had a good start in the heat race, fell down, did the same thing kind of in the main event, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a very exciting race, too, to have, you know, the lights and then follow it up with that heavyweight 450. It was a night that, we, like I said, we all just want more now. Yeah, and in that lights class, it's tied now because uh, Justin Barsha, who finished uh, second, he won. So him and Wilson are tied. And then Blake Baggett comes away with another third and I know he was discussing like we talked about Wharton unfortunately leading this thing he is like Stewart he ends up fourth and uh, it's going to get better Brock I want to thank you for uh, coming on the show tonight <laughs> it, it, you know it, it you know we're enthusiasts you know what I'm saying we're former racers but I, I'm an enthusiast and I, w I was satisfied tonight. You know, I, I, I had my cup full too, but again, like I said, I kind of left here with a little uh, adrenaline going, hey, a little junkie fix here. I want some more of this. And so, yeah, it was an incredible night. And I have to say it's great for the sport of motocross and supercross particularly. And um, I'm just, look again, looking for more. My, my voice is hoarse, hoarse from yelling and screaming. So, All right, we'll see you next uh, in two weeks in Indianapolis.